Hi everyone, my name is Vidur and I'm a senior systems engineer in Juniper Networks for Mist Wireless. And in this video, we are going to discuss a few things about SLEs, service level expectations, which you see on the home page of the Mist dashboard. Okay, so we won't be discussing in depth about each SLE in this video. We'll just talk about this in general and I'm going to have multiple videos for, for each SLE that you see on the screen at the moment. Okay, so this is how the MISH dashboard looks like and the, the seven SLEs that you see on the screen are time to connect, successful connects, roaming, coverage, throughput, capacity and AP of time. Uh, what what we need to understand from this is how this 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 page came into came you know how how was this built and why was this built? So if you, if you see the SLEs in detail, you'll understand that these three SLEs are trying to tell us about the pre-connection metric. That is the you know uh, if somebody is not able to connect on the Wi-Fi, then these three SLEs are the ones that we need to look at. And if somebody is able to connect on the Wi-Fi but not having a great time then we need to check these four SLEs. So we divide these SLEs into pre-connection and post-connection metrics. That's how, that's how these SLEs were designed to give us a good view of what's going on in the network. What we are trying to measure through these SLEs are the, you know, is the user experience on the ground, how people are, uh, you know, trying to connect on the internet and, and what kind of experience they are getting on the ground and, and if they're having a good time or if they're having a bad time. Okay, so there are multiple settings that you can actually change on this page, which will give, which will help you understand better about what's going on in the network. Uh, starting from the first setting, this is this is this is where I want you to be. Let me just quickly zoom in so that you understand what I'm doing. Uh, I'm currently on the live demo site, and I'm I'm viewing stuff for today. Okay, all this data that I see here is for today. Now I can do a drop down here. I can e either go and check for the entire org. I can go and check for the access point. I can select whichever site I want to select, which I want to see, or I can also do a client level uh, SLE search, you know, as to what SLEs are being seen by that particular client at the moment. So let me quickly click on entire org. So this is gonna, this is how it's gonna look like, uh, the entire org. Uh, some good stuff about the entire org, you know, all the sites together, all the SLEs that you see here as a whole. You can, you, this is a pretty good view if you are if you are running multiple sites in one org. Uh, going back, if I if I want to go to the live demo site again, and I want to let me just zoom in again in here. Okay, so I want to now go and check the SLEs from each access point. I can do that as well. I can I can actually go to the S one select any one AP, and then I will see all the SLEs from the eyes of that AP. You know what that AP is going through on the SLEs. That's 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 how you can differentiate and and do the search. We can also go ahead and and select a client, and and then check you know what that client is. Let me select any client. Let's say I select Vincent. So this will tell us you know uh, from you know what what data is being seen by that client and and how the SLEs have been on that particular client. Okay. Now another thing that you want to basically uh, change or 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 understand is you know you want to go ahead and and, and change the setting to last 60 sec 60 minutes. You can actually check for the last 24 hours. You can check for last seven days, and you can also select a custom date where you can, you know, uh, enter a date from today or three days past, and, and you can figure out what data you want to see there. So let me select last seven days because it's going to give me some comprehensive data. The other thing that you need to understand is, uh, you know, I'm going to change it to this site for now so that have, so that I have some good information. Uh, these are all the wireless SLEs, and this particular graph here is a graph between users and system changes. So this, these small triangles that you see, these small triangles are important in, in terms, you know, as to they basically tell us whether whether a change has been made on the site at that time or not. So let's say this, this blue triangle, this is a configuration change that happened. And a green triangle is a periodic change on the radio that happened, okay? Any change on the radio will be, will be checked in by the green triangle. Any change in the config will be sent, will be will be shown to us by a blue triangle. So, for example, if there's a blue triangle, uh, if you see a blue triangle and there's a sudden drop of in the number of users after that, probably is a hint that you know there was something wrong that happened, and uh, we need to go and check what really went wrong. Similarly, this is a hamburger icon. I can I can click here and I can actually see I can select whichever uh, option I want to check in and and what I want to view in this uh, in this area here. You know, in, in the graph, that's also a possibility for us. The next thing I want you to understand is, uh, this is the percentage here, the success rate, that's 84%, 87% uh, for time to connect, successful connect roaming. 
I can also uh, click on values. What this will tell me is this is this is actually going to tell me you know the average time to connect is three seconds uh, uh, for this particular site for the last seven days. Okay, three seconds and and roaming it takes less than one minute less than one second on an average. And this is this is this is going to give us the percentage success success rate. Uh, you know if you want to look at uh, how how the how the SLEs look like. So this is pretty much what uh, what 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 it looks like from the values. One more thing I want you to know is the settings tab here on the SLEs. If I click on the SLE uh, setting tab in the hamburger icon, it will give me an option to configure all these values. So as a, as a network admin, if I want to make sure I want to set the time to connect value to two seconds, you know I want all the users to go on the internet uh, in two seconds. I can come to this page and I can select that value or change that value according to my need, right? This is, I can use this slider and I can slide it to whichever value I want and select it. So this, that will be the value which I will uh, look at and then, and then basically any client who is, who's able to get onto the internet before two seconds will be marked as a positive here and any, any client who is not able to go onto the internet within, you know, within two seconds will be marked as a negative here. Similarly, for roaming successful connects, there is nothing to configure because we want every client to definitely be able to successfully connect on the internet. Uh, so nothing to nothing to be configured here. Roaming, we want to we can define uh, our goal. Our goal is 2.2 seconds here. We can again slide it here and, and make it make it larger. But yeah, 0.2 is okay. Coverage wise, I can I can set a goal for minus 66 dBm, which means any client anywhere in the network should have at least minus 66 dBm of of, of signal. Throughput, my goal is 40 Mbps here. I can, I can slide it down to 60, 20, whatever I want. Capacity basically means at each time, the uh, you know, at each time the goal is 40 percent, which means the which means 40 percent of the channel should be available for me to send traffic at each time. That's my goal. AP of time, of course, there is there is you know nothing to be configured because we want 100 percent AP of time. That's that's so. This is this is where you or or if you want to view. Uh, you know the SLEs in a different order. You can drag and you can drag it here. You know, and then change change the change the way it appears in the background. You know, I can just drag it here back to AP of time would be the lowest for me. That's there you go. And that's how you uh, set these basic settings on the SLEs to you know so that you 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 are seeing things the right way. Also, so in my next video, I'm gonna discuss. Uh, we're gonna you know go ahead and and break these SLEs down further and understand more about time to connect, uh, successful connect, roaming, coverage, throughput, capacity, and AP of time. So for now, in this video, this is what I wanted to uh, tell you uh, about the different different settings that we have and, and how to how to work around that. Uh, before I forget, guys, one more thing. Uh, for the client level SLE, we, we collect a lot of data if, if you want to view the SLEs from the client side. So if you want to understand uh, and see the data or, or the SLEs from the client side, you need to have the Marvis license, not the basic Wi-Fi management license. That's that, that will not give you the client level SLEs. If you want the client level SLEs, you need to have the Marvis license on that. That is covered under Marvis license. Okay, fantastic. So that's, that's what I wanted to show you in this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, uh, drop in a comment and I will respond to that ASAP. Thank you, guys, and you have a wonderful day.